Hey, welcome to the second episode of my Tomtech videos. In this episode we are going to make some noise. Or sounds. I am going to explain about the technology how to synthesize sounds. And please comment below what you want me to do in the future. Give me some ideas what you like to see. Uh, but first let's check out a short video I shot from the Helsinki Synthetic happening that I was attending yesterday. Okay, that was a really interesting happening. Helsinki Synthetic, cool gadgets, and you could try them yourself. Many of those were do-it-yourself projects. So, now I'm going to explain a little bit the technology, how to synthesize sounds. There are three major technologies. One is the subtractive synthesis, another is uh, the additive synthesis, and the third one is uh, FM synthesis. 
All right, I have gathered some tools to help me explain the synthesis methods for you. I have the Minimoog synthesizer, which is an analog synthesizer, and it can do all the three major synthesis methods. Uh, I have an oscilloscope so we can view the waveform and a spectrum analyzer to check out the spectrum. A one tone sound consists of a fundamental frequency that determines the pitch. The pitch can be low or high. And then it also consists of uh, overtones which can be harmonic or non-harmonic. Here in the spectrum you can see the strongest component is the fundamental frequency that determines the pitch of the sound. And it's usually at the lowest frequency. And then we have the harmonics and also other uh, overtones that determines the characteristics of the sound. Now this is the triangular waveform. Now turning the knob to the sawtooth waveform, you can see there are even more harmonics making the sound more rich. Then turning the knob further to the square wave, you get even more harmonics. In subtractive synthesis, you start with an oscillator, rich in harmonics on overtones, and then you subtract some of those uh, harmonics using a filter usually. And that makes a different kind of sound. Now you can see in the spectrum display the subtractive synthesis. By adjusting the filter, you will remove some of those uh, harmonics and make the sound change. And here in the waveform display in the oscilloscope, you can see how the waveform is affected when you filter out some uh, of the harmonics using subtractive synthesis. In additive synthesis, you start with usually a simple waveform and then you add more waveforms to make it more complex. And now check out the waveform for the additive synthesis. I add more oscillators to make a more complex waveform. The third major type of synthesis is the FM synthesis. That means frequency modulation. You start with a tone from an oscillator and then you start changing the pitch, modulating it like this. And then you go faster and faster and you get really interesting, funny sounding sounds. But then by adjusting the way you modulate, you might find some really nice sounding sounds. I start slow modulation of the frequency You start out with the single tone with some uh, harmonics, but when you start modulating, you will get a lot of overtones and uh, many non harmonic overtones. That's a funky waveform. And you can make some stormy weather using a noise generator and a filter from the subtractive synthesizer.
All right, this concludes the second episode of my TomTech videos. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And please remember to comment below what kind of technologies you want me to treat in the coming videos. And also, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.